In this video, I try to survive Minecraft in hardcore mode. However, it's not just vanilla Minecraft. This is All The Mods 8, a mod pack which adds a little bit of everything. Alright, well, we spawned in a, to a birch forest. Hello, bee. I spawned in a birch forest with an ocean nearby, and it didn't take long for me to find my first structures. Oh, what is that? Holy shit, Jaws? Find a typhoon. A, typh a typhoon? A typhoon? Excited, I went to check them out. Oh, that looks sick. Oh, what are these things? Okay, I think there's a village right there, and then there's a... Uh, there's another sort of structure over here. Oh! Should I... I'll take it. Steel mechanical component. Ooh, we found iron. I did hear a door open. Ooh! Okay, so there are villagers here. Hi! Oh! Oh! <laughs> Look at that! That is a huge cave. I definitely need to explore that uh, eventually. This is a huge village, all things considered. Look at this! It spans all the way from over there to like all the way over here and then all the way that way. Holy moly. When I was done going through the village, I decided to look for a spot to live in. However, that led to my first encounter with an extremely deadly threat. Oh. What is that? Okay, no, we run, we run. Okay, oh, shoot. Are they following after me? They're following after me. Oh, God. I just took a lot of fall damage. Wasn't there an iron golem around here? Where is he? There he is. Protect me. Is he still following after me? I don't think he is. After narrowly escaping death, I decided that I would live far, far away from that cave. Instead, I decided that I wanted a view on the Typhon. So, with little time to spare, I built a small starter base. Nighttime approached quickly, and naturally, I didn't feel like going outside. I took this time to dig a hole in the ground, as well as read the quest book. ATM 8 offers a curated modded experience for those who like kitchen sink style mod packs. I don't know what that means. Can you use modern MC? Make sure you check out. Very interesting stuff, I know. Daytime finally arrived, and I took this opportunity to go outside again and cut down more trees. After all, this starter base was way too small for my needs. I knew I needed something bigger. However, since it was raining now, zombies would not burn in the sunlight. They'd still be a threat. Oh god, there it is. Okay. First battle and victory. But I mean, hey, it's daytime now. I think it's safe to go out and try to get a few more resources. Oh, hi. Ooh. After getting some birch, I started building. something similar here one two three and then it goes out here oh wait oh the zombie dropped the pants I have clothes now It was overall pretty relaxing to build this small shack. However, as the sun set, an uneasy feeling set in, and I was suddenly attacked by... Oh, okay. A thonded, a thonded squid, the odd smelling. Wait, I can see it on the minimap. He's right outside! No, what is this? Leave me alone! He's like right there! What is this? Wait, can I hit him through the corner? No, it's not gonna work. Wait, let, let me let me think about this, right? It is a skeleton. What I could do is this. And it's unable to hit me. 
Wow, that was cheap. Holy moly, that was cheap. I do not deserve this. After somehow cheesing the boss, I picked up its items. I felt a lot safer with a second piece of armor and decided to step out to keep working on the base. It was risky, but I was really bored of staying inside. However, this guy had something to say about that. Yeah, I thought I heard something. Hi. Alright, well, we killed it. Oh, there's another one. Actually, I'm gonna use my axe for this. And I missed. Okay. And I missed again. Alright. And I missed a third time. And it blew up. That didn't destroy the terrain. Huh. To my surprise, a wandering trader then came to my base with an interesting trade offer. Oh, hi! Okay! Bane of Arthropods 10. Jesus. Mending, looting 5, unbreaking 5, fire aspect 3. This is... This is a good sword, all things considered. It just sucks that it has Bane of Arthropods instead of, you know, sharpness, but... I mean, it's not like I was gonna be able to get it anyway. Unfortunately, being poor, I was unable to afford his wares and simply continued working on the base. Progress was going extremely smoothly, and soon I was able to tear down the old walls in favor of... The cube. Yeah, it's pretty ugly, but right now that's the least of my worries. I need to get tons of materials, notably iron for tools, wheat for cows which will give us food and leather, and sugarcane for paper so we can craft books, which will be essential later. However, I had done enough for today. I decided I'd leave those things for another time. And so with that, 